Hey guys, Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. Norm, I have in my hand the OnLive controller that goes with the micro And I have in my hand the OnLive micro console. Wow, that's amazing. So what, what is this thing? So OnLive is a server that's been out for a while. It is cloud gaming. And they actually sell this $99. It's a micro console, so you can basically play on live on your big screen TV. You don't have to do it on the laptop. And on live is the thing where they play the games on a server someplace and then yes. stream them across the internet with video yep. to you in your home, and it'll run on pretty much anything, including what I assume is probably not a whole lot of hardware in that. Thing. Yeah, it's just basically a HDMI port, two USB ports, Ethernet connection, not Wi Fi, and you can do optical audio out. Uh, they sell this for $99. Okay. It's been out for a while. We really, had, really haven't had a chance to. Do an in-depth look, but let's take a look at the service. And uh, worth mentioning, the co the controller is basically it's kind of, it's shaped like an Xbox 360 controller, but they've switched the placement of one of the analog sticks and the D-pad. And there's also uh, yeah. media playback for their uh, their and honestly. Online stuff. It seems like the D-pad's a little better than the 360 one, just kind of feeling how it works. So okay. uh, let's go over the couch. Oh man, and don't give us crap because we're not hardcore video gamers. I sure wish there was someone in this office who knew something about video games who could possibly join us. On live home screen. This is it. On live. Um, this actually came out last year, and uh, it's almost exactly the same because we did the quick look at the iPad app. Um, and this is just on live. You can play it. Um, using We're watching the, somebody play right now. Yeah, the micro console. You can play it on your laptop, on your PC, and uh, on your iPad. Um, That's right, Norman Chan and Will Smith. Oh my God, Ryan Davis Whoa. is here. In video games. Giant bombs, Ryan Davis. I saw video games happening. I, I had to come and, and butt in, uh, take a look at, at the on live stuff. I actually haven't uh, messed with the, the micro console or the uh, the on live controller uh, at all before. So I, I've definitely messed with the the service on the PC. Yeah, and uh, it, you know, catalogs still still growing here. So the micro console plugs in. We have like a was it was two USB ports. We have a keyboard plugged in. Two actually. USB ports. Uh, we plugged the USB keyboard in. That works fine. HDMI and out. Ethernet. So we are in the Thanks very very optimal, the most optimal on live situation like right now. We are. I think they must have a data center close by West Coast. We're in a very close, you know, big populated area, Silicon so, Valley. Yes. We have awesome on awesome internet. There was yeah. a reason in our office. Yes. At least and we're wired. 50 megabits down, and we're wired. So this this actually doesn't support Wi-Fi, the, the micro console. You have to use a bridge or something else. Oh, really? No, no built-in Wi-Fi. No built-in Wi-Fi. But it's I think it's 99 bucks for the micro console and the the controller. And it's a uh, it's, it's 720p video. Yes. What is it? That is correct. Which is fine for a TV. This is Assassin's Creed 2. Let's, let's see another game. Something this, a little this faster. One's, this one's going to move a little slow. Uh, I believe I have Dirt 2 on this account. Ooh, I like Dirt 2. Uh, it's high speed. It's, yeah. it's very drifty, so it, it requires some pretty specific uh, uh, control. Yes. So you're getting ready to watch me so ram into the wall. Is, this is, this is important. Low is latency a, is important. This is a terrific uh, uh, test for this. Um, so right now, you're, in, you're right. in the uh, $10 a month play pack. Um, so you can buy games, or you can buy, I use air quotes, if you can't see me, buy games, because yes. you don't get actually get a physical copy. Right, and you, they can turn it off. Right, it's access to games, yeah. for the full price, 50 bucks, uh, 40 bucks, 60 bucks. I, I don't, I'm not seeing Dirt 2. Or you can buy the pay, Play Pack, and it's $10 a month when you access these 49 games, some of which are pretty old. Wait, Definitely. there was. To, to be it. fair. So it's interesting, you can also rent games for a certain number of days, like $4 if you want a three-day. Uh, Pass seven dollars for a five day pass or fifteen bucks for the whole game. So that was quick. It's, like it's, you it's just pretty. It's yeah. pretty impressive. Uh, like going from I want to play this game to playing this game. Uh, I, I honestly, from from what I've seen, you're not gonna you're not gonna find a faster. Right. Uh, That's their big selling point. Here. Absolutely. Because you're not downloading anything. I'm not playing the game right now. But you just, no, it's you're already starting. you're already seeing just kind of the like this is chugging some. This well, is, yeah. This is, this is someone else playing, but. It's yeah. frame rating. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be some compression artifacts. Uh, well, the, the, the blockiness that we saw the first couple times we looked at this seems to have gotten a little bit better. Because yeah. I, I don't see the big, like when we were playing UT3 another years ago. Another very fast paced game. Yeah, that's, a, that's another good test yeah, for sure. It, it was, um, it was you know, you'd see big blocks and squares and stuff like that. Oh, I, can't I believe, love that all these things still have, are still here and you have to okay, watch them. That's such bullshit because these, all, these are technically PC games because yeah. they're PC ports. Right. But they're customized for the on live service. That's why you can't access the menus. A certain option settings, a certain multiplayer settings. But they still can't. They still can't. But cut they still those can't off. cut those bullshit things off. Uh, at least there's no uh, games for Windows sign in for Dirt Two. Yes, PC. I want. To create I, a I new kind profile. of wish there was, because then I could get points on OnLive. Oh, oh that would be nice. If, if I could Good do point. that, I would. You'd actually use it. I would consider seriously using OnLive. Take the monthly pass. Because it's not bad. 
So this looks and very, it's, it's, very it, much like the PC slash console version. Yeah, absolutely. I, I was actually just playing the the, uh, the PC version uh, of Dirt 2 this past weekend, mm -hmm. so I'm I'm very tuned into oh, it. Here. You just wanted to get first dirty. Fast race. Oh no, you're straight to the menu. Yeah, well. Uh, Oh, I hate this intro. <laughs> Running benchmarks on Zero Two, I have to listen to this every time. Hey, Travis, how you doing? Um, so the way the service works, and their proprietary technology is streaming technology. They right. have tons of data centers, tons of computers. Uh, PC is running all the latest hardware. They render it all off-site yeah. at their data center, and then compress it in real time and stream it over. So there's so a bunch of different stuff happening. There's the game running in a rack someplace, yeah. mm -hmm. and then there's another thing that captures the video, just so like yeah, we do. We're basically just watching MPEG video. Yes. Right. MPEG for H.264. Uh, uh, and sending and game players, input yeah. signals yeah. to their data center. Um, have have you played this before? No. Yeah, I played this Okay. You you gotta know, beat that you know game justice. You know how it handles. No, I, I wasn't good at this game. Oh, okay, great. So I things I hope to see, no tearing. Yeah, I, I'm more concerned about the frame rate. What about okay. me smashing into walls? That'll be good because okay. uh, because uh, that stuff can be uh, resource intensive on the other end. The th one of the things that bothers me about OnLive, uh, li like you said, Norm, these are just you know PC ports that have been slightly tweaked to, to work with OnLive. Uh, I, I wish that since they are running in these crazy data centers mm -hmm. uh, with you know all this kind of rack mount technology, that they would there you go there we go that's the stuff that they would. Uh, Finish your thought. They would eliminate some of the uh, the load times. You know, that's oh, they, when wall. I first met with them before oh they um, I'm terrible uh, at this game. announced oh, yeah, online. Hit, hit select. They said that you know loading was supposed to be oh. one of the most important things for them. They have hit, these on, on huge raids, like really fast solid oh, state wait, raids. Do yeah, you can do do overs um, here. So, so I think but this it is didn't really help you. Didn't really help me at all. <laughs> this is as fast as you're going to get for loading because they do have these on very very fast hard yeah. drive or uh, storage drives. I remember, like, kind of. Some oh, there of goes some stuttering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. there yeah, go. Yeah, Frame yeah, rates alone. And it's not that the game isn't being rendered, because uh, this is the, the game pretty much maxed out. Yeah. Um, this is as good as this game looks, pretty much. Other well, than you know, for, the, by except for the frame rate thing. Yeah. So the 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 low frame rate is really in the compression and the data center not being able to send us, you know, 60 FPS smooth. Right. Also, I'm I'm pretty oh. bad at this game. It turns out that's that's okay. We just needed to see more of the the sense of speed and, and right. how it handles. Let's that. drop. So, see how whoa. fast we can quit out of the game. Get back to the menu. I'm bored of Dirt 2 right. already. Exit this game. Exiting the game. This, this is perfect for people with short attention spans like you, Norm. Yes, and boom. Perfect. You're done. I want two minutes of each game. I kind of like that. So let's let's see if we can find something that's maybe uh, uh, a little more well keyed for for the pace of this. Do Supreme Commander or Tropico? Or Supreme Commander. I want to see how this works. With, right. with well, at, so, so this will be interesting because because Subcom at least had a uh, an, an Xbox 360 release, so it has been on mm -hmm. some level uh, you know optimized for this controller that we're using. It's clear that there are some publishers that are much more heavily represented on here than others. Well, yeah. Uh, 2K, Ubisoft, uh, uh, Codemasters, mm -hmm. and. Uh, THQ. And THQ seem to be the, the ones that are uh, on board, most well alive. represented. I mean, do you guys think that this presents a, a legitimate? Comp I mean, people are starting to get a little nervous about the power of Valve and Steam. It seems like uh, publishers, especially. Mm -hmm. I mean, you think this represents a legitimate it's counterpoint to uh, to the power of, of Steam? I think it's I think it's still too early to say. I think you know we're still we're still waiting for kind of like the the TiVos to shake out from from this kind of technology. You know what I mean? It's like okay. You, you've, you've established the idea of this is something that we that people might be interested in mm -hmm. doing. Yeah. But now you have to see like, okay, what what platform is actually going to be the dominant one? Which one's going to shake out here? Yeah. And because there are several competitors to OnLive out there. Yeah. OnLive is is clearly Kikai. the most well known Whoa. and kind of the, the top level yeah. one. But wow. uh, can you so uh, can you adjust? Mouse every time they do a tech demo where they go, here's OnLive on your iPhone or an Android phone. You can do the yeah. crazy and look, zoom. And you can play Crisis on your iPhone. I don't think that's the future. There's no way. I think that's going to suck up your battery life. No, it's but, all the, no, but I no. think there are potential, you know, like World of Goo is on here. I could play yeah. that on my, you know, through OnLive on my iPad. Uh, but wouldn't you, know. you like, no, I think it's going to be a better experience on the iPad, yeah. I, I'd rather, I mean, but, but, but I because apps that. on in TVs is, that's oh like the God. thing for 2011. Yeah. I could see next year, you know, if they have a good API. Just, they, just they baked just, in on live. Baked in on live in your Samsung TV. Yeah. And then you don't have to download anything. It's very connected, Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and you just play. World of I don't see mouse sensitivity. How about under interface? And speed, maybe. So how is the responsiveness on, on um, the mouse? It's, I mean, uh, it's, it's not great. Is, isn't a super speedy oh, just go, scroll RTS. Scroll left and right. Scroll left and right and see how. 
Yeah, there you go. You can see the frame rate already. I mean, I don't think this is a bad frame rate, but this is a pretty old game. Too. But this is this is a good example, though, of a game that is more well tuned for on live. Yeah. You know, you, you need something in which the the frame rate and, and that immediate you know split second sort of responsiveness in the controls isn't completely clutched to the experience. Well, and the benefit is that you could play this on a on a otherwise really super shitty laptop. You could That's play right. it on a Mac. You could play it on a MacBook <laughs> Air. I want to play Supreme Commander. It's, I yeah, have a MacBook Air. Like, I don't want to download. Steam and, and download and download 10 gigs. I can't. I don't it. have enough hard drive space. Right. Uh, I remember the rules of this game. I don't necessarily now. want to own the game for forever. I just yeah. want to play ten dollars, pay ten dollars to play it. Let's see some baseball. It's uh, a slow game. Uh, let's see some uh, Prince of Persia. That's maybe a, a decent movie. Yeah. This is a this is an old Prince of Persia though, right? Yeah. Uh, no, this is this came out last year. It's Forgotten Sands. This is. Is this the one after the just Prince of Persia? It's after yeah. the re, re, okay. after the yeah. cartoony one. Okay. This one kind of goes back to the Sands of Time universe. Yeah. I think it takes place between a couple of those between games. Between the evil prince yeah. and it. the noble prince. This seems to be moving pretty well. This, this is moves pretty well, but you know what? The graphics are actually, I think, turned down on this. The game, I think, looks actually better, uh, at least on the PC. Um, and that's one thing, like, you can't, if you press start, you cannot change the graphics settings at all. Yeah, it's, it is what it is. to whatever to Whatever what the they've set, are. right? Yeah. yeah that's, that's Audio, it. video. Yes, that is it. And of course, there are other Exit features game. in On Live. The the brag clips. You can watch other people. It can be the game voyeur. Right. Um, I, that that has very low, little interest let's, for let's, me. Let's do Homefront. Yeah, Homefront's the obvious thing to play. I mean, the nice thing about this is you, you don't have to. Uh, so so this is Steam. It's ten gigs. Yeah. But are it, you playing against PC people or Xbox people? Probably PC. You're going to be playing against guess. PC people. Yeah. I would assume. I wonder if you're playing against just on live people. If so this is an interesting PCN one because because this is a Steamworks game. Yeah. This mm -hmm. has all the achievements in it on Steam, but obviously you know this is going to be a version that yeah. does not feature that stuff. There it goes. So I mean that's that's kind of one of those things like like it's if there is a question like are you already invested in achievements. in Steam yeah. you know achievements on yeah. Steam or you know God forbid games for Windows Live. Uh, you know, or, or some other alternate. Do you, I mean, do you think uh, anybody's platform. invested in achievements on Steam though? With no number, like I don't, I, I have a lot of Steam achievements. It's not something I care about. Uh, yeah, I don't really pursue. There's multiplayer. Multi. I don't have a mouse though. It's all right. I can play with just the keyboard. <laughs> back oh, in the quick God. days. Here it goes. Bringing it back, huh? This will be interesting. I don't know anyone who uses OnLive as their only way of playing games or getting games. It does feel like a a reasonable like supplement. Like, supplement if you want the instant play. Um, and I think it could be more compelling once they get more than games on here. Uh, they've been talking about it for a while, you know, partnerships with other types of media, you know, video. I'm supposed to press four for special weapon. I'm jumping for you while we're playing this cooperatively. <laughs> this seems ill-advised. Shoot that guy. Shoot die, that guy. Die, die. Shoot, 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 shoot. I can't aim. I'm crouching. Why are you making me crouch, Jen? Stop crouching me. Oh, oh my well, God. Well, I'm changing your menu. Don't do that. Ah. This is the worst idea ever. <laughs> so multiplayer it works. Um, can I press tab and see scores and stuff? I can't. Oh my god. This is totally PC. Yeah. You're, you're just playing on the, the PC servers. Yeah. We got Bravo. Uh, yeah, I would be surprised if they if they ran a uh, you know unique on live service for this. That's an enemy. He has red over his name. You can tell. You yeah, killed kill the it. system. You did Run. it. Oh and my god. And now you are dead. Two, two guys, on. one kill. All right. So I mean, this isn't bad. No. Let's uh, yeah. let's go back to the bricks and wrap it up. All right. So that was the on live micro console. Ryan Davis, thanks for coming on with us. Oh, a pleasure. I always like seeing uh, stuff like this in action. It's very, uh, it's an interesting trend in, in the world of video games. Yeah. So I mean, you you are a hardcore video gamer. How sure. do you do? You feel like this is a? I mean, we we saw that multiplayer work. Yeah. The games look. I mean, pretty good. Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they look comparable to like the PC versions of the games that they have on the service. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I have to reiterate, I don't think this is a great, uh, you know, your only gaming store no, no, no. As, as a supplemental. Uh, you know, it's 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 flexibility is really its its greatest strength. I yeah. mean, it seems like if you're into gaming, you maybe have some consoles, but you don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on a gaming PC. The, and I feel like they're still figuring out just kind of like the pricing and, and the structure of it uh, yeah. between like the, the buying games, but you're only kind of buying games yeah. uh, versus uh, the full on just like, like here's a Play pass, you get access to X number of games. Uh, I think over time they're going to figure out a you know kind of a, a structure that's that's going to really work for people. Well, and the the good thing is that now uh, you don't actually have to pay a monthly fee and buy the games in order to play them. Yeah. Once they drop that monthly fee, right. then that Much became more it more became a, a something I actually consider investing in. Yeah, yeah, no replacement absolutely. for a thousand dollar PC. No replacement for a three hundred dollar game console. No. Um, if you can get this on a deal for fifty bucks or yeah. free, that's that's why not. Compelling. Why wouldn't you? So for testing, I'm Will. 
I'm Norm. And for Jet Bomb, I'm Ryan. See you guys later. Yeah.